Hey guys, welcome back to Carlitos Clicks for part two of the Hero Clicks 10th Anniversary Set DC Edition. It's gonna get DC delicious up in here. We're gonna to talk to you about what we do and don't like about the brand new Hero Clicks 10th Anniversary Edition DC. Anyways. So why don't we just get right to it and explain to everyone the kind of the highlights that we saw in the set. Yeah, of course. So here we are to talk about uh, the models that we really liked in the DC 10th anniversary set uh, in front of my shelf. Another nice set piece that uh, we never use or talk about. So now to talk about some DC pieces that we really liked, let's start off with Brainiac. He was the first one that they previewed. Um, start off with his basic version. I absolutely love it. I think he's awesome. Um, definitely going to be, a, I think, a tournament piece. Eight range, running shot, 11 attack. Pulse wave, five damage, outwit, impervious. What more do you want? Uh, Absolutely and he stays nothing. strong fairly pretty much the whole way through. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. He's got that good point range where you can play him, the gauntlet, and support him well with like a Scarlet Witch. But just a very powerful piece. Not super flavorful, just a good solid piece. Now, when you move on to the Battlefield promotion version, you know, he's 350 points. You can't play him in standard tournament. Uh, he is, is definitely a powerful piece. He's a little mm -hmm. bit all over the place. He's definitely not as efficient as the like rookie version. But you know what? As far as flavor goes, I really like him. And he's also the kind of piece that, you know, if played well, he is the kind of piece that, like, unless you're playing a 400 point game, he can carry a team. I really like that about him. Well, he has to have 350 points. He does. You know, you put 400 points, you play him in the gauntlet, give him that power cosmic that he needs. Mm -hmm. But he is actually dangerous all on his own, which is really cool. But check him out, he's definitely really good. Next piece we're gonna talk about is Nightwing. I, I'm really excited about actually all the Batman stuff that's uh, gonna be in this one, uh, whether it be you know the Catwoman, who's fantastic, um, the Batman, <laughs> who is unreal, we're gonna to get to later, um, Oracle, again, who we're gonna to get to later, or Nightwing, who I'm really excited about. Um, not really for any specific reason, I guess. Uh, I really like the model. He's got a little bit of snow on top of, uh, you know, the Gotham City rooftop. Oh, I always come at things from a little bit of a modeling perspective. And for me, that's really exciting. Very thematic. Um, really excited for the Batman family keyword that we're starting to see now. That's really nice because before, you know, you're playing Gotham, but Gotham doesn't really make sense because you know, you have Batman and, and this is a themed keyword, so it's even, like, it's yeah. a non-generic keyword, so this is even better than, a, like, a generic keyword. You have Gotham City, so mm -hmm. you have Holiday Killer and Batman working together, and, and Two-Face and Penguin and Robin, and it makes no damn sense. So I have that Batman family keyword, uh, yeah. definitely separates it the way it needs to be separated. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, as far as stats-wise go, um, you know, Nightwing's decent. I think you'll see some play as far as competitive goes. What I really like is his trait, uh, leader of any team, where he, at the beginning of the game, you pick a keyword that he shares with someone else, and he becomes that. Uh, there are a lot of people out there, uh, even me included in this group, who really don't like how Wizard, or Wiz Kids, sorry, doesn't, uh, how they do their themes, right? Where we had, Weapon X, right? Mm -hmm. Sees a model once a set, maybe, yeah. and you know it's usually Wolverine repeatedly, or, or Deadpool, or yeah, like, like but again, no, not no, that no. often. It's once yeah. a set. Great Lakes Avengers, very. They they made them. They made enough to build the team, but they made them actually very difficult to play at the three hundred point value. Actually, I just I. It's funny you bring that up. Uh, I played them last night against uh, for for just a fun game. Um, there are two models in that entire army out of the five that you can fit in a 300 point army and make um, it like reasonably viable. Yeah. And there, there are two of them who could break, um, impervious at all. Yeah. yeah. Like it, so, it's just, it's not a good, it's not good. It comes out to exactly 300 points with the ATA actually, which is, uh, okay. uh sorry. No, I guess not exactly because I have the briefcase in there too, but yeah, it's just not good. But back to what I was saying. There are a lot of themes out there that are very difficult to play at 300 points mm -hmm. and that they don't make that often. Alpha Flight. They made two. Wolverine yeah. and Wolverine. What's Weapon X, Weapon X, sorry. Um, there are a lot of models out there that have these odd keywords that they really don't play up and don't make enough of to really make that theme. He gets it. 
Uh, Suits so can be really cool for theme teaming. Uh, not, you know, thematic, but for gameplay wise. Yeah. And the other nice thing is there's very few models out there. I mean, very few that actually support playing Marvel and DC together. Yeah. And he is one of those pieces that actually encourages it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Next up is Oracle. Uh, Dane, I know you know a lot more about her than I do. Um, and as far as character wise, the reason that I'm excited about her, and this is going back to talking about keywords, is the birds of prey keyword. Um, I grew up in the 90s, and you know, the birds of prey television show was on, and I always thought it was badass. My favorite uh, hero play way back when was Huntress because she was fantastic, in my opinion. I grew up in the I, 90s and do not remember the birds of prey. Yeah. But, anyways. But it, just honestly, if I mention it, and you're like, oh man, I love Birds of Prey. Don't go back and rewatch it. It does not age well. But getting off topic here. Um, yeah, as far as theme go, I'm, I'm excited for her. Uh, she's got some really cool powers. The one where she gets to use uh, oh, wit and probability control and perplex. She's very... Good support pieces stacked on top of each other. Exactly. We see this a lot out of DC and it's something that makes me really excited because it's just that, you know, all in one model for yeah, good for yeah. team building uh, in competitive play. She's another one of those pieces that's exactly like Scarlet Witch, who obviously we know is fantastic, and you know she's just gonna she's gonna keep doing that kind of thing. She do her thing. Is she as good as Scarlet Witch though? I would argue she's more expensive, she, isn't she? Yeah, she is more expensive. So she's harder to fit in some places, but mm -hmm. she might be a little bit better. Well, the other thing is, actually, I would argue against her being better because something that I've noticed, and if you look in the uh, world champion, like all the teams and yeah. stuff, Outwit doesn't really make too much of an appearance. Now with the gauntlet and yeah. Perplex becoming more prevalent, uh, you don't see as much Outwit. So maybe she isn't. Maybe she isn't that meta, like as much as a meta defining piece as far as support goes because Outwit definitely doesn't hold... Yeah, the same, the whole uh, that it used the way it yeah. used to pre gauntlet. Yeah. Before pre gauntlet, outwit was yeah, you, have, you have impervious, so that's unfortunate for you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, paid a lot of points for yeah. you know two hundred and fifty plus characters. But now it can be yeah. one hundred and forty. You know, you exactly. put the gauntlet on. They were one hundred, now they're one hundred forty, and then power house. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, definitely not as good as it used to be. That's a really neat point. Yeah. Um, next one we want to talk about, and this is again more of a tournament piece. Uh, as you'll notice, we definitely like Marvel more for the theme, but DC more for their actual uses. Uh, yeah. I feel that the DC set actually might be a little bit stronger uh, definitely. for powers and just yeah. stats and everything. Yeah. But let's talk about some Green Lantern. I really like the base. Of, I like both of them. The basic yeah. Green Lantern has running shot, 11 attack, and uh, three damage and range combat expert. So and indomitable for all of how many points was he? I want to say around about a hundred, but I think he was ninety. Yeah. Yeah. So you can run, shoot for three, stand still, shoot for five. Yeah. Uh, exactly. And if he's back far enough, he had eight range. I'm pretty sure he had eight range. Uh, you can actually do a lot of damage with a, a oh, yeah. fairly cheap piece. And his upgraded version, I always like when they do this, has. Uh, First clicks all gray, so it's uh, running shot, telekinesis, invulnerable leadership, uh, and just good stats all around, mm -hmm. pretty consistent. Again, yeah. you get the indomitable. I cannot remember the points of them for the life of me. Don't even ask. I want to say it around 160, but I could be wrong. Uh, if I am wrong, correct us underneath here. I do like the uh, rookie version more, though. To be perfectly honest with you, yeah, uh, I do. I do like the barrier mechanic where you can make a construct and then you punch, know, you, with punch it. you in the face. Just like it, the sound constructs cool. that the guy with the thing on the hand, claw, claw. Yeah. Like just like he did, right? Same yeah. idea. Yeah. Yeah, but really cool. Definitely thematic. Next, we're going to talk to you about El Batmano. Uh, Batman sixty-three Love. was it? 63 points or 60 on the dot? No, 63. 63, yeah. 63, six range double target, 12 attack, incapacitate, and three damage out width, uh, leap climb, Batman team ability, obviously, to his stealth. This is a solid model in 60 points. I really like it. 60 points for a model with 12 attack? Like, I, I'm in. This Batman is not a one trick pony. 
he is able to do damage, he's able to do a win, he's able to double target, do yeah. the in incapacitates, have the stealth to protect him. Yeah. He is a solid piece, I really like him. Yeah. Just want to segue quickly into the uh, chases, because that's what he turns into is the chase. Yeah. All the chases, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, are all Black Lanterns. Uh, I'm not going to get into too much about what they do. I, Wonder Woman is my favorite. I think she is the best of the bunch. But the Batman version, at least, that we're going to talk about, just to save on time, is a little... I definitely think he's overcosted a bit. Um, definitely cool, though, that they're making Black Lanterns again. They yeah. haven't made many, you know. They made the chases. That's, yeah. you know, that was it. Unfortunately, they didn't... They're cheaper and didn't keep up with the theme of when people die within four, they heal and stuff. They actually, so they actually play differently, which is unfortunate, but they all actually play similarly. Mm -hmm. uh, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman all have a power that when you roll a die for a certain power, uh, Wonder Woman in particular super senses, Batman is shape change, and Superman is leadership, I believe. If they roll a one or two, they heal one. Mm -hmm. They have ways to keep in play, uh, you know, keep alive and stuff. I know Superman and Wonder Woman do a good job of really pumping out damage. I don't recall Batman being able to do so as much. Um, I didn't really look at the DC chases. I, I kind of want to be excited when I uh, when I eventually get to uh, look at my stuff. And Fair enough. I was a little I was a little disappointed with the Batman. I thought the Superman was all right. I actually prefer the Kal El from the Brave and the Bold, but if we're keeping it modern, mm -hmm. uh, the Wonder Woman I actually did like where. She has 11 attack, super strength, charge, impervious, and four damage exploit. So, you know, six, six damage if you got the tank turret, seven damage exploit, nothing wrong with that. She actually pumps out the most damage on the wall. And is cheaper than the Superman, I believe. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Last one we have is Lex Luthor. Oh, right, yeah. How can I forget about Lex Luthor? Um, Lex Luthor, I just want to start off by saying that he is a perfect example of how they were very liberal with um, Pulse Wave in this set. Um, which is fantastic because I honestly I think that Pulse Wave is kind of I don't want to say it is the meta, but it definitely is going to play into the meta because you know if you're looking at with so many people having the gauntlet and not being able to be out with um, Pulse Wave is just the bee's knees. I'll I'll say this I really like Lex Luthor I think he's really good I think we'll see him play. Um, I'll go off on a tangent for a second Pulse Wave. The Cosmic Balancer. I hated Hero Clicks when it is, I'm gonna play a 200 point piece, you're gonna outwit him, you're gonna kill him. Yeah. Uh, I definitely like that Outwit does not hold the power that it has anymore. Yeah. And that it, you know, it was so easy to justify a 35 point model with Outwit. Yeah. It's a super cheap power that Outwit's really expensive powers, that counters really oh, yeah. powerful powers that I pay a lot of points for, and then just don't get to use ever. Yeah. Models with uh, Pulse Wave, doing things like that. It's it's like Outwit, you know, if you can line it up and Pulse Wave for five, yeah, you outwitted all their powers. It's phenomenal, yeah. but, you, but you can play around it. I can I can put models beside my heavy beat stick. So it's like, you could Pulse Wave it and ignore my powers, but you only do one to each. Yeah. I really like Pulse Wave. I really like the direction the way it is going, where that Outwit on 35 point models shouldn't be so powerful. You sh uh, but you know models that are 150 points that have running shot, pulse wave, and things like that abilities to get in there and ignore those powers. Yeah. But I can plan accordingly. I love that. I think that's great. I think that's the way the game should be. Uh, so definitely like that direction. But that's everything we like. Tell us what you like. Um, Visit us on our Facebook page, comment on the video, please like and subscribe. Check out www.sixsidedstudios.com and check out everything that we're offering there. I'd really appreciate it. Check out all the blogs we've got there uh, for not only Hero Clicks, but uh, you know, a lot of other different games from ourselves and uh, from Gene as well. Check it out. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Thank you very much. Take it easy, guys, and I will see you next time. Thank you.